Alicia sat on a couch, watching people laugh and drink and talk in the living room, and wondered if she'd always hated parties. The fireplace boasted a real fire, thawing the winter frost that seeped in through the bay window, and the ska coming from the phone on the mantelpiece wasn't too loud, keeping the mood mellow but festive. The space was homey, with patterned wallpaper and woolen rugs. Everyone was clustered into groups of three or four, many of them drinking mulled cider, absorbed in their own conversations, saving Alicia from any forced socializing. She wouldn't know what to say anyway. The house belonged to Heaven, or, well, her parents, but they were in Niagara-on-the-Lake for a few days. Alicia hardly even knew Heaven. They were friendly co-workers, but not exactly friends. Shifts at their store were just more tolerable if they worked together. If Heaven was around, a manager wouldn't have to remind Alicia to, at bare minimum, appear as if she liked working the cash register or the fitting room or the floor. She and Heaven were bonded together by the horrors of retail and not much else. Alicia showed up tonight only because her apartment building was ten minutes away, and her mother wouldn't stop asking if she'd been invited to at least one holiday party by at least one friend. She took a sip from the bottle of Corona she didn't want, remembering last year, when a date told her she should be embarrassed for ordering it off the menu with all the other brews available. That same night, she deleted Hinge and hadn't been on since. Over the music, she made out snippets about natal charts and exam schedules and upcoming holiday plans and, He's a sellout! Brethren, he's a celebrity! There's a difference! Two men next to her were having a heated conversation. Okay, but who needs walls that high, though? said the first man, quickly clapping his hands between each word.